No, I don't... I can't think of anything else that kills us outright. I like that. Chameleonist, I don't, I don't have that command set up. Sorry. Ugh. Yeah, if they can get, like, advocates, like, double advocate is probably just lethal. Instead of going after Pact, they just kill me. Have you played with or against the Blue-Red Spells Thermo deck? I have not. It looks kind of sweet. It looks kind of sweet, except for the metagame. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like a good deck in isolation, but then kind of matches up weird slash poorly. Glacier Cherry, this stream brought to you by Gatorade. It's got the electrolytes that plants crave. Ding! Probably keep on the draw. I kind of just want to play another land. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I, I think people complain about the BAMP matchup, but like every time I've lost to it, it's because they've drawn like three Cocos and three Commands, and we flooded, and like the games that we win, or the games where like we both draw reasonably. I've won every single one of those games. And the games where I've lost, it's been like three copies of both of their most important cards, you know? Something really extreme like that. Oh, uh, you forgot something. I wonder if they'll counter this. I'll turn my duress into a disfigure here. Alright. Will not pay. And I think I'm just getting a swamp with this wilds. Yeah, I mean, Coco has some of that in it, just by the nature of the titular card. But I don't think that it's, like, as variancy as people think. Because, like, like Paul's deck, Retzel, from the GP. Like, that's a super clean, streamlined version. When you add, like, Clash of Wills or whatever, like, if you play Luis's build, then yeah, there, there's going to be a little more variance, or it's going to feel more swingy, because, like, you're more likely to miss on your uh, Cocos, and it matters that much more, etc., etc. But, um... But, like, for me, how well they hit on their Cocos only matters to a certain degree, right? Way more impactful for my matchup specifically is how many commands they draw and at what point. And how many, like, Oath of Jace I draw. There's not really fair decks in modern period, so it's not really fair to criticize Coco for being combo oriented in a format that dictates you almost have to be combo oriented. Rats. <laughs> Vala? That's not what I expected. No! Foundry, what is your deck? Hey, doing it. Excuse me.
I mean, obviously it's blue white flyers, but like a deck that is playing this card and willing to keep a one lander should not also have a six drop in it. You know what I mean? Q7Z, I mean, yes, but also, like, net decking is not an evil, right? That's not an inherently bad thing. But whenever a unique deck does well, it does reiterate the fact that, like, deck building matters and that you can do interesting things in Magic. Sanu, because the uh, the Oath is great in this matchup and the Disperse is not going to be good in this game type. I couldn't even cast it at that time. Yeah, right, resolves. Still playing Hearthstone at all? Yeah, I play uh, like an arena a day-ish. It's most, it's more like an arena every other day. But um, I play a lot. Well, I mean, not a lot, a lot, but I play regularly. Wow, the main deck negate got me. Yeah, but bam, I was I was the first I was in the first wave. I was handed an invite to the beta, I just never played it. Okay. Yeah, deck building is definitely part of magic, but net decking is not is not an evil. It's a tool, just like anything else. This discard's really hard. Come on, Dream Crush. Those terms are not welcome here. Bear Square, that may be true for you, but that you can't say that that is 
true for everyone. Or should be true for anyone. Language and petition? I strongly disagree with that. I think it's just clash, actually. Arkanoi, nice. Flames Oath or maybe Flames Clash. It could be Oath Clash. That's interesting. I think I like Flames Clash, though. Third rattle chains? Sure. Yeah, Dreams Crush or Team Dream Crush, for sure, it goes both ways. That's kind of my point. Is net decking's not evil, nor is not net decking. Thought knots here? What is your deck, dude? Kind of have to take packs and then I get to languish though. <sighs> I already made the land drop that turn. Or did I? Looks like I didn't. Good call. I thought for sure I had. I'm I'm digging my opponent's deck. Except this thing. So, this card does not belong. The the other cards I kinda like. Displacer is great. It's just hard to find time, mana, room, cards. They were stuck on one and then stuck on two for a while. Language. I'm okay with that. So I can petition for Duress and play packed. Yeah, I mean, it was it was Mexican computer. It was definitely wrong, but I don't think it punishes me here. Like, I wouldn't use that mana anyway. I guess I just play packed. So another thought not kind of messed me up if I petition preemptively.
No, I can't petition to rest Pact, but I wouldn't I wouldn't do that anyway. The duress it would be held for the harmless offering turn. Bang. Really, opponent? Gonna respond to my Uther Jace trigger? There we go. Um. Yeah, go. Oh my god, it's already 9 30. Past 9 30. What's up, Smorehead? Thanks for the follow. I don't have a sound for that notification because it gets annoying when too <laughs> it gets annoying when so many people are following me. No, it gets it gets spammy. Um, but then I forget that I even have it on. So when I look over my OBS, I'll just see, hey, somebody followed you. That's pretty cute. Ojidoi. Oh, Lucy Goosey. My alter ego. Yeah, not so humble brags. Everybody loves me and wants to consume my content. If you know what I mean. What do we got? a Rhyhorn. What? Oh, Pidgey. I'm getting close to another lucky egg. 350 CP? Pidgey? I think it's the biggest Pidgey I've ever seen. Oh my god, he's a fighter. And a runner! No! It's okay, at least he didn't use all my... Uh... Stupid Pokeballs. Uh, what am I doing? Big G. <laughs> when bitches get that big, they get ornery. What level am I? I'm 23. 23 and a half-ish. I only turn the sounds on when I have it at home. Like, plugged in. So that uh, I don't have to like watch it or listen for it to vibrate. All right. Nice. Yeah, the game really starts when you hit level 20. Or the next phase of the game starts, I should say. Uh, Bear Squared. Uh, it just turns on your opponent's removal. Like, being creatureless has... Has a lot of value. In just blanking your opponent's cards. Ooh, 
nice. Is it a good Dragonite? I still have to check the IVs on uh, my Ghastly and Alakazam I got today. Also, somebody finally took down that Mystic Gym that's been fucking locked up. Austin, awesome. that's more than I've even seen, so it's probably doing all right. Team Valor, woo! Yeah, there's this gym near my place that was like locked mystic like level 10 the lowest cp pokemon of the 10 was like 1777 just absurd gym and uh over the past couple days it got worn down we probably lose here but Actually, why did I use that grass? But that was such a spew. Spell Quiller is like a big deal. Oh, I was thinking about Pokemon. Oh no! Damn you, Pokemon Go! Declaration of Stone and Stasis Snare. Not very good against it. Hey, that's a good draw. Yeah, that was a real poke punt for sure. So do I just cast Offering now? Dark Petition for Negate is not possible since this is game one. And also would be... This is game one, right? Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Stupid Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, this is the same game. Yeah, Petition for Second Offering was my initial plan. Then I drew this Clash of Wills, and now I'm wondering if it's better to just do that. Oh, sigh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I get on a four. Up to seven. So I can't even beat a Queller anyway. Because a Queller makes this two. I have to just hope that they have only one thing. Clash is better.
There's not a Dispel on the deck. There's a Duress, but I already used it. <sighs> Why do you have multiple main deck negates? How sick is that? Even Rattle Chains kills me now. Yeah, you got it. That was pretty sick. No, do so again. It still doesn't matter because the um, we can pay the two and then get it countered by the wanderer. Summary dismissal for this matchup? Why? Am I missing something? Seems terrible. Stop yourself from dying on upkeep. That is not a good use of a card. After you played Negate, I think you only lost another card. No, uh, Queller still does it. Because they, they just Queller the offering. I agree with cutting command. I kind of think I still need the Oath of Jaces, though. I want to cut, like, this and I guess this. Feels like I want those, but I just ran out of time. Really don't know what else to cut. Probably could have shaved an Oath of Jace, uh, like uh, Al Z Heimer suggested. All right. Well, glad I didn't, because it's going to hopefully cure this hand. Oh, my God. I'm so tired. We have one more match after this? Or is this the last one? I legitimately don't remember. Two more matches after this? Yeah, I might have to cut it short.
No, Jellum Dar. Uh, uh, my opponent had all that mana up for the entire game. Pretty sure this is worth it. What I could have done earlier was use Pact. But all that could have found was another offering. Which might have been enough. Now that I think about it. So yeah, I could have done something. But it wasn't offering. It was Pact. That's probably correct. I also used Grasp the turn before for no reason. That was really bad. And I shouted it out right after I did it too. As being bad. Oh, draw a basic land one time. So close. At least I get to resolve this thing. Going to daze me? There we go. I want this land, but I have to discard it because I need the redundant pact for, like, Thought Not Seer. No, I think this swamp is better than the sunken hollow because it I, like I don't need the blue clearly my all three of my other lands make blue um, and it makes it so that future uh, whatever these are called battle lands come into play untapped. What's SAK Quok mean? I might have to make a video about it at some point. I wrote one a while ago. Um, and then never made it. But the short answer is it's an obscure poker reference. And also, uh, SAC are the first three letters of my last name. And SAK you know? Easy game. <laughs> yeah. Because we are pushovers. Void Shatter. My opponent is not messing around. Sup, pup? My opponent stops on the Oath of Just trigger in my upkeep every time. <laughs> what are you doing? Just auto yield. <laughs> This hand was played terrible, terribly by both players on every street. <laughs> I'm 
my nightmare here is that I pass and my opponent plays Addison. That would be really upsetting to me. All right, kind of have to jam. Waiting it doesn't get much better for me. Just snap resolved? What was has command? Wanderer and draw a card? Um... I'm gonna say no. Draw a card makes... The discard on this a lot less effective, and the Wanderer chokes my mana on the turn I offer him. I think I negate this, as weird as it seems. As, as like low impact as this is. In fact, I'm kind of surprised it's still in my opponent's deck. But I think it's worth negating. I know they're going to cast some fucked up thing that I didn't think about. Some destroy all enchantments. Tragic Arrogance? That'd be sick. Yeah, my ball is fine. You got a 5-5. Five five. Uh, go ahead and... Discard? I think I draw first. Well, I mean, they clearly, like, don't have a good hand, right? If they're just jamming Linvala. And I have so little to do with my mana that I think it's worth trying to get some um, forward momentum going here. Those are actually some pretty good draws. This makes Linvala not... Kill me, or kill the Lily, and then next turn I can just kill the Linvala with the Pact. <laughs> Master J, you heard almost correctly. Almost correctly. Give it to him now? No, I don't think so. Discard two and deal four, too good. I have, I still have the discard mode on this and I have two harmless offerings. The chat always really wants to give the... Haha, <laughs> take two. The chat always really wants to give my opponent the pact early. And I always want to wait till the last possible second. And I'm pretty sure neither of us are right. Like, <laughs> like there has to be a middle ground that's actually correct. But... In the meantime, I'm going to play as best I can. In the only way I know how.
So now I just go discard two and give it up, right? One, two, three, four, five, nine. So we'll see what they do and see what my scry is. Oh yeah, I was supposed to like kill this, right? I even planned on doing that and then forgot. Well, there goes their hand. Yeah, about the Liliana's is like the most asked question about this deck. Two, three, four, five. I don't think there's a way we can lose either way, but I'll give it up now just to be safe. Well, time matrix. What what does it matter if I'm being dealt for if my opponent loses the game? Like you don't get bonus points for winning at higher life totals. Yeah, just play the other pack is what I was thinking. I just had to make a play because I'm actually low on time. Um, but yeah, the thing about Liliana is that it's just an ultimate win condition that's really good at controlling. And... I don't know. It was in the deck and seems reasonable that it's in the deck. Do I want transgress against all this nonsense? James Byrne, because I have four minutes left and another game to play and I'm just clicking. I mean, Chandra and Lily are not comparable at all. One is a three mana, like, dinky planeswalker, like small ball planeswalker, and the other is a six mana haymaker planeswalker. It's just not, it's apples and oranges, you know? Yeah, if you cut the Lily, then like your three slot suffers a lot. Your game against 
things like spirits and humans suffers a lot. All right, you're saying it's not bad. Jax, you're missing the point, buddy. With three and a half minutes left, I'm probably going to have to focus more on the game rather than the chat, so I apologize for that, but... I assume you don't want to watch me clock out. Yeah, like magic is... doesn't really work in the way that you can just like cut three drops for six drops because they're more powerful, right? Like obviously they cost or obviously they're going to be more powerful. They cost twice as much for a reason. Unknown shores. Serious about those thought not seers. Eh, I probably should have played hollow. God, I hope they play thought not. I get to clash it, untap, packed. That would be ideal. Math, math checks out. I ran the numbers. Missed land drop also works for me. I will take that as an alternative. Yep, to pad against uh, Dramoka's command. The naked spell queller curse. Oh, rattle chains must have drawn that. Totally fine with this getting quellered. I'm thinking about it. No, I mean, that's kind of my plan for next turn. Or the turn after, depending on how this oath goes. Ding.
Thought not me. Thought not. Kind of funny if we started this game four minutes down and end up ahead on time. Um, yeah, okay. Queller it? Clash for two. I don't even know what this card is, but I'm taking it. Wow, my opponent's hand is terrible. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm making sure I finish the game in time. We did it.
Oof, we almost didn't do it. Because of that stupid spry. <laughs> Opponent trying to get me on my last second. <laughs> Time is an illusion. Who needs a clock? Had it the whole time. Hey, look, you gifted me for the last possible moment. You're right. Man, bant. Red. That would have been sweet. Just peel it. The sorcery speed this. Because I really can't get it quellered. You lose at the end of the zeroth second. I know intimately for having won many games on zero seconds on stream. I, I like have never timed out outside of streaming, but when I'm streaming and like talking to the chat and stuff, yeah, I get I get a real low on clock sometimes. This is pretty effective. Don't clash me, bro. Game. Sadly, it's not even a game because our hand is so terrible. And they have Coco. No, Coco, we have a chance. They're not attacking with the Lumbering Falls either. And that was the best draw in our deck. They don't even have a Spell Queller. What is going on over there? Oh my god, no! Why? Yes! <laughs> Oh, thank you. I will take it. I will take it happily. Reveal hand? No, I'm not. I'm not about that life. Yeah, not ghosting confirmed. Not ghosting, never ghosting. 
Clarkatron 3000, I appreciate your optimism. But more, uh, more likely it just gets negated and is a five mana investment. Show the bluff. Can't do it. Can't do it. Sorry, can't do it. Wanted to see it. Should have paid it off. We played against Emrakul yet. Uh, I mean, we played against a deck that had an Emrakul, but we have not had it cast against us. That's what you're asking. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Yeah, I guess, I guess the preemptive scoop is kind of paying it off. Good point, well made. It's good for the game. Who's in for the seven deuce game? Mm. Da -da 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 Come on, opponent. I want to get to bed. Boom! Dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Ba dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. There we go. Uh. Yeah, Freakonomics Radio. Listen to like four episodes today. No two drop. Kind of wish you had a two drop now. But I'll uh, take a, an anticipate it happily. Help me with something else. Actually, somebody asked about my screen name earlier. So it comes from a character called Bill Philmath, which was a parody character of the real life Phil Hellmuth. back in like 2007. Didn't I board these out? I certainly meant to. Even though I'm taking it now. You click League Details instead of Submit. Well, we have tape, so if that's true, we will know it. Because we also, like, sat there for a minute, weirdly. Right? Like, I thought my opponent was just taking forever to board, but... Maybe this is not the case. You can view my sideboard? No, I can't. Don't lie to me. Is it a right click? View sideboard. There we go. Yeah, what the hell?
Well, that's tilting. Good to know about, though. This is a good one. Get rid of this stupid card. And Lily Plus is just too um, passive. Like it looks good in a vacuum, but it's not actually a legitimate game plan from that point. So I think it has to be one of these blue spells. Don't clash. Yeah, I think so too. I was like a duress before I had to choose my other discard. Rats. What's up with all these people playing Avacyn? Mexican computer, you can calm down. You've been very aggressive. Like, we all know that you're God's gift to magic, but, you know, just poor little AJ here is trying his best. Damn you, Spell Queller. Yeah, chameleonist, exactly. See if I had if I had known the their hand, like if I had gotten to duress mid discard, mid oath discard, um I like I would have kept both of these. You know? I would have discarded uh like disperse impulse or something like that. It resolved? What? That is baffling. Lucy Goosey confirmed. Ooh, and they missed on their recruiter. Not holding up Avison either?
Oh, I'm so baffled. Let's do this, shall we? Excuse me. All right. I wonder if my opponent is ever going to give me a chance to Radiant Flames and Clash. Doesn't seem all that likely. I think I'm pretty locked in. I think I'm pretty locked in to having to petition for cat at some point. So the disperse goes way down in value, especially when I have the impulse still. And then the backup packed. It's literally only good against Queller. I have the impulse for anyway. Yeah, I agree Disperse is the worst card in the hand. I'm now deciding between these two for the last discard. Need the land, need the impulse, and I think I need the petition. I don't think I need the Disperse. I think Clash is probably good. I 
think I'll be able to Flames Clash, potentially. All right. Yeah, the second pack is also like diminished by this thing. Like the discard as protection mode from the pack goes way down in value. They miss off recruiter twice. It's pretty brutal. I mean, take that. You bank company scum. Land then tracker. Interesting. In game chat, they got tracker. You're right. Why doesn't it show up here? What the hell? That's kind of bullshit. There's my lands. I'm gonna have to hope they quell this. It's pretty tempting too. Damn it, they didn't. They're smart. I mean, I think I still am a pretty huge favorite, but I wonder if I knew what the other one got. Well, this one got another recruiter. Yeah, pacifist. That would have been good to know, I guess. No, because, like, I can just die. Well, they're tapping mana on their turn. That helps a lot. And miss the land drop. That also helps a lot. Well, they're dead now. If they, like, just passed, I think they were doing okay. So I don't think I could afford to clash. Oh shit, I played the wrong land. I'm supposed to play Shiv and Reef. I had it all planned out in my head too. If they drew Queller, or, um, no, 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 it doesn't matter, right? It shouldn't matter, because they can only do one thing now, anyway, right? This is the tap job. 
So now I lose to like summary dismissal. But whatever. Well, we know two of the three cards in their hand. So it's only the draw step that is different. But yeah, if I play around, if I play the Reef, then I can hold up Clash or Impulse. But I actually don't think it matters, because I, if I had to cast Clash, then I wouldn't have the red for Offering anyway. So I have to let this resolve and then impulse it. Dang. One more. All right, I'll stick it out for the fans. One more for the fans. Yeah, they would have survived. But I saw their hand the turn before, so. Gotta do what I can. For the fans. We haven't played against like a ramp strategy in a while. Like we're playing the friendly leagues instead of the competitive ones. Yeah, this deck's pretty friendly. <laughs> I usually play competitive queues, but uh, I don't know. Friendly queues seemed right for this deck. <sighs> well, we've played against like almost mono bank company decks, but. It almost sweeped a GP. Well, Mexican computer, that someday you'll realize a deck doing well at one tournament doesn't actually say that much. Not nearly as significant as one would believe. Oh my god, cheese throne. Yeah, it's harmless. Look at this kitty. You gonna tell me this kitty is competitive and not friendly? Basic swamp go. Oh my god, Mr. President. Happy to have you uh, watching. Swamp of Alden Wilds. King of Cheese Whiz, that is not what I'm saying, and hopefully you know it. Okay, this could get interesting. Really wanted an Oath of Jace there. They 
we're missing a land drop. Hey, that's a good draw. That draw is a real nice draw. <laughs> My Supreme Master MTG skills! I don't know, man. I'm just having some fun. I was actually going to draft today, and then when I was booting up the stream, I'm like, you know what I want to do? Some more cat packed. <laughs> oh, yes, the turn five Grim Flayer. Excuse me. Do, 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 rest. What you got, home skillet? What's you cooking? Wow, your hand is terrible. Oh no, I outed myself. <laughs> yes, this was supposed to be a draft stream. I apologize. I'll be drafting on whatever day is next. Friday? Yeah. I'll be drafting on Friday. Oh, Dr. Chook. I forgot to turn on my cheer support. Thank you for uh, reminding me. I got like four emails about it, and I'm like, yeah, I'll get around to it, and then never did. Is it under revenue or partner settings? Probably partner settings. Woo, woo. Oh, enable cheering with bits. There we go. I don't know what these things mean. All right, save. Your bit settings have been successfully saved. It may take a few minutes for your settings to take effect. There we go. It's just that easy. There's gotta be a better way. Fourth land. Haha, <laughs> they have to get back the flare. Ooh, Lupine prototype. Honestly, like we're talking about playing the friendly cues versus the competitive cues. We've played against Blue White Spirit Flyer Control, Bank Company, Bank Company, Bank Company, or something like that. Maybe it was two Blue White decks and Bank. This is the first like semi casual deck we played against. Oh my god. I mean, obsessive skinner is not exactly what I would consider. We call it threatening uh, competitive card. Aw, 
augmented path, you're you're not wrong. It does fit those requirements. I know they have a million lilies in hand, but they have to spend mana on them. I got this Clash of Wills and stuff going on. I'm not too worried about it. Crop sigil. More flares. You got it. Anticipate for no reason. Sure, this thing. Please discard. And take this kitten. Things are looking grim for my opponent. How do we sideboard against this? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I seem to be aggro, so I don't think I'm worried about Emrakul. Don't hate the player, hate the game. That's insane. That's so good I'm like shocked I haven't heard it before. Oh, I hate the flare. Don't hate the flare. Hate the game is really nice. Real nice. This thing's probably not good enough. Maybe I want like one transgress. Yeah, that is that is a that no, I don't know if LSV said that because that is way better than most of the ones LSV makes. <laughs> Languish over flames. Yeah, that might just be better. Kinda want like these. Infinite obliteration so I can print screen the deck. I actually think I do need this because they they probably have discard and stuff. Maybe Lily's just not good. Go, go higher, higher and higher. Mm, I do kind of want one transgress.
if any ruinous path in the sideboard. Yeah, I thought about it. Last second, I decided to play the ultimate price instead. Honestly, Planeswalkers, like, aren't that good against this deck. But I understand the want for the, uh... The effect, you know? Keep on lifting. Decent curve. Like, I could see playing, like, a 27th land in a Chandra. Maybe. But, like, two Lily for two Chandra just doesn't make sense. The noose is loose. Ooh. Can't win. Can't beat the noose. Look at these basics. Huh. Hmm. Disperse duress? Noose Lucy is my delight. She come running and we ball all night. Play F6? Kinda wanna just impulse this if they're F6. <laughs> it 
Yes! <laughs> what are you doing F6ing with a wild mongrel in play? <laughs> Got him! Ooh, that's real good. <laughs> Not only is this effect good to clash, but it could be anything. Oh, man. I wish I had a Lily in my deck. I don't, though, right? I boarded him out. Yeah. Shucks. This only gets instant and sorceries, so it's almost worth just getting packed now. If I get like transgressed, I would slightly prefer the pack still in my deck. I really don't know. I guess I'll just get it now. Yeah, I mean, it's possible it's right for them to not discard, but. Still funny to me. Because it also would have given um, this thing Delirium, presumably. Never seen this card before in my life. But that does give delirium. Wow. Ultimately punished. That's insane. Do we have a way to win? We have the um, two things in, right? Yeah. So we're live, but I found another reason to not dark petition first. Oops. Actually, is taking petition worse than taking pact? Yeah, pact is probably. Like, I would prefer petitions gone than pacts. Alright, we got him out of cards too. We can um, draw Obnixilis or Dragon Lord. How do we not have Delirium yet? Oh, we will when we sack this. Three turn clock. Tick. Tuck. Motherfucker. <laughs> you have been hoisted upon your own petard. Game! <laughs> that is! <laughs>
Oh, over three hour stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, follow if you haven't. And follow on Twitter if you haven't. Because I tweet when I make stuff, including streams. I'll be back on Friday. We'll be doing a draft stream. Draft. If you missed some of this, I'm going to post it on YouTube slash Newmont Gaming. Probably tomorrow if I get around to it. So if you want to watch some of the first games that you missed or my deck tech or whatever, yeah. Oh, hearts, hearts, hearts. GG's. Would a barrel full of monkeys really be that fun? Seems like it would be a headache. <laughs> Thanks everybody for following. Thanks everybody for watching. Good night. Oh no, 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 wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> good night, good night, good night. See you on Friday.